Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. Today, I'm going to be ranking the top five, not to ten, top five set two cards that I've been able to use. This includes moments and many seasons and all that. Any way that I've been able to use them, their swing, their attributes, all that comes into play. So, yeah, let's hop right on it. So, at the number five spot, we have the... 90 overall Nico Goodrum. His swing, great. Speed, great. But that he's a 90 overall kind of sits him down a little bit. That he's a 90 overall. When you're going to be facing 99s with Nico Goodrum, 90 overall, it, it it's just unbalanced. That's why he's at the number five spot. But other than that, his swing... And being a switch hitting shortstop, we can play like almost any position. Amazing. Um, when it comes from that flashback pack to the May thing, and the May tops now. Our second card today in the number four spot is the. Um, blah, 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 I have a brain flash on who it is. I forgot their name. The 90 overall, Mike Yastrzemski. Same thing with Nico Goodrum. Good power, left-handed batter, great swing, love it all. But he's a 90 overall, facing against these higher attribute cards, these higher overalls that are just going to be a little harder to get. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you know what I mean. Number three is the Warren Spawn. I forget what overall, I think he's a 94. I use them in moments, and I finished that moment in one attempt. And normally, I don't finish pitching moments in one attempt. So, that's why I say he's at the number three spot. I'm having brain flashes here. He's at the number three spot for that reason. He's just good. And he's a high overall pitcher. 94 isn't too bad. Let's hop into the next one. At number two. Number two is a little different. We have 91 overall Zach Britton. Everyone knows Zach Britton's amazing, even if it's his live series. But the, the fact that we have a 91 this early into the game of Zach Britton, who's going to be able to use in set 3-2 as a left-handed reliever with these stats that he has, is just amazing. But, but, but the reason he's not number one is because number one, you, you'll see who it is. Um, I have a video coming out where it shows the gameplay with some of these set two cards that I mentioned in this video. If you watch it, you'll understand what I'm talking about and his number one player is. It probably will be out tomorrow. But, yeah. Alright, and at the number one spot, don't judge me. At the number one spot, it's 92 Keith Hernandez. Man, am I, don't, some, somebody... In the comments, try and make an argument with me. If you watch tomorrow's video when it comes out, you'll you'll see how good he is. He had absolute nukes. His swing, left-handed, great. The fact that brings him down a little bit from some of these other set one cards that we have, and other these set two cards that why he's probably only gonna be my DH or a bench bat, is because he um he's a ninety two. But don't get me wrong, he's insane. And also, on well, this video, I should just throw this out there. Please, dear Jesus, nobody use Jerry Har Harrison Jr. He's absolutely horrible. You'll you'll see it in the video tomorrow as well as you'll see how good Keith Hernandez is. He's Jerry Harrison's horrible. So just advise. I advise you. Unless you're good with him, don't use him. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.